it's hard to find an expert more dedicated than John Clayton. He's the consummate pro. We'll see how the 4-3 and the cover three work together. John Clayton with the lead. Thanks, Dan. Take care. Whenever we need a brilliant insight, he's available at the drop of a hat. Hey, Ma! I'm done with my segment! That's the great thing about wearing pinstripes, right? It makes you look slimmer. That's why I love this uniform. Even on a bad day, I look great. Fellas? New suit? Yeah, my stylus hooked it up. Horizontal stripes. No, it looks great. Seriously. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks. It's our job to help educate first-year players on how to deal with us, with the media. It's like our own little rookie camp. The official blows the call. You guys lose the game. You know you were in. After the game, he asks a lame question. The reporter asks you a stupid question. What are you going to say? That was a cruddy call. No, nah, there's a b call. Cruddy? Cruddy went out with Ward Cleaver. Come on, yeah. Kobe, what would you think of that call? What do you say? It was a bad call. But <sighs> it wasn't a bad call. It was a b call by an It was b That's a b call. He's an all right, stay with me, Chad. Touchdown, Chad Johnson. We go into one of these sizzling bacon action. Are you serious? If I did that in public, I'd find myself. Next. Okay, who's having fantasy issues? Yeah, all my receivers are busts. It's not fair. Is it not fair? Or did you draft poorly? Who are you really mad at? Myself? Anyone else? I accidentally traded for a fullback. You see that? You're not alone. I have a coach on my roster? <laughs> Dude, out. Discover an edge with fantasy football now, Sundays at 11 a.m. on ESPN2. We recently hired a world-renowned chef in the cafeteria, but the only person who seems to understand him is Henrik Lundqvist. You're the cheesy noogie in this fruity good. It's furniture to hood. It's for the first nuts in this first exchange food. Henrik, what do you say? Said today's specials are pickled herring and blood corp. Hmm? Blood corp? You know, we're a global company. It's about time our menu reflected that. I'll just have a hamburger. Right in the front. That's like winning the lottery, dude. Really? I got that spot once. Good morning, you say. Hey guys. Hey. And and the guy was about to go in, right? So I sort of duck under him, right. you know. Man, he pops out of the car. His chili is running so hard. Right? I'm like, dude, it's a parking spot. Relax, right? It's one big deal. Slow day, huh? I listen. Man, I would kill for that schedule. Me too, man. Oh, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, me too. With all the success that Adrian was having, it was getting tough to juggle his schedule, so we got him an assistant. If I can get you to sign that, that'd be great. And oh, by the way, for Mom's birthday, Perfect. We had to get someone who could anticipate his every need. Yeah. Not not. Which one? Bite me. Done. Oh, your 3 p.m. is waiting. When you hit that next level, man, there aren't enough hours in the day. He'll be with you when he's with you. We go through slumps, like everyone else. And when things start going bad like that, sometimes the best thing to do, watch the tape. Now look right here, your shoulder. You're dipping it. Really? What concerns me is this motion here. Yeah, the, the posture is good, isn't it? Is that bad? It's not good. I don't even know where to begin with this one. That was a, that was a poor effort. Eventually, the great ones always figure it out. Things obviously are neck and neck potential to lead changes by the day. I'm embarrassed. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> Come on, man. I think the question I get asked most is, at the end of the show, when the music's playing, the anchors are talking to each other, what exactly are they saying? I'm Dan Patrick. I'm Keith Alderman. We'll see you later. You phony.
Do they sell men's clothes where you got that outfit? I have got a wedgie like nobody's business right now. Thanks for sharing that. When was the last time your hair actually moved, like 1977? When you put your fingers through it. Wedgie didn't prevent that gas from coming up there. Hey, that's the Naga hide rubbing on the chair. Don't make things up, bud. I had a kick here. I don't know what that is in your teeth, but uh, I assume you're saving that for later. And um, I never got tired, so my dad started calling me AD for all day, and it stuck with me ever since. I like that, AD, all day. Yeah, so um, what's your nickname around here? Me? Yeah. Oh, I don't really have a nickname. They pretty much just call me Scott. All day, what's up? Same. Hey, bedwetter. <laughs> Guys are always clowning, you know. Bedwetter. <laughs> told, told you that in, in confidence. Johnny? Go ahead and get this fax out. All right. You can find out. Contact Matt and facilities. He'll, he'll help you out. And one more thing. There's a glitch in the AC. The air conditioning is broken. It's going to shut down tonight at 5 o'clock. Seriously, we have got to get this glass frosted. Yep. Where's the rest of the guys? I don't know. Let's go, fellas. Let's pick up the pace. Whoa, 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 rookie. What up, Stu? What's up, man? What do you think you're doing? Nothing. That's right, nothing. Watch your hands. ESPN, your NBA destination for games Wednesdays and Fridays, plus in-depth analysis all week. Ever since SportsCenter went high definition, it's put a lot more pressure on everybody to, to look their best. All yours, man. Cool. Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Oh, son. How's that? You want to be on camera? Got to be ready to play the game. Who's beautiful? You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Is that PK? Hey, Jim. Has it gotten a little weird? Yeah. This ain't radio. Welcome to Sports Center, Alongside John Bucci-Grass, I'm Neil Everett. Tempers flaring in NASCAR last night. Yeah, one last question. Does that come in cream? What, what's taupe now? Uh-huh. Anyway, that's the control room. A lot of chaos there, but it all looks good when it comes out on the show, actually, thanks to those people. Then over here in the digital center is our highlight screening area. So that's where we get all the games uh, that are played that night, down in a 90-second or two-minute clips or whatever you're going to see on sports center right now. This hallway, it runs between, you know, both rooms. You know, if you want to get from the control room to the screening, then this is the hallway you'd take. Questions or anything? I can answer whatever you want about the place. You know, nothing? As sports center anchors, you know, we work noon to 3 o'clock in the morning, 365 days a year. It can wear you out. That's why we brought in a conditioning coach. And read those scores, those sports scores. Get that almanac going and turn and turn. Type those stories, type those stories. Check those sources, check those sources. Camera one, camera three, camera one, camera three. Anything that helps us do our jobs better, we're all for it. Give me energy, energy. Da-da-da, da-da-da. Yes, yes. Hey, fellas, you using boat blenders? Gallo? It's me. Boost? Nice. Thank you. Oh, man, they didn't give us any hot sauce. What? No hot sauce. I'm not eating without hot sauce. We like hot sauce in Italy, too. ESPN, your NBA destination for games Wednesdays and Fridays. We've been watching a lot of soccer at the office lately. Seems to be causing a rise in workplace injuries. Setting up a goal, that's just brilliant. I just love the way. Oh! Oh, my ankle! Oh! Oh! Oh, I won't work for weeks. John, get up. <clears throat> oh, my ankle. He's fine. Oh, no! My ankle! Oh! At Sports Center, we're always trying to stay ahead of the curve, and that's why we're, we're really excited about the new anchor cam. Welcome to Sports Center. I'm John Butchergrass. And I'm Jay Harris. John, it was retro day in Cincy. I think it really lets people get into our heads. But it was a rookie pitcher that sent the Phillies in the early retirement last night. And in Boston, do the Red Sox have any more miracles left? 
we think it's going to change sports journalism forever. John? And just when you think the Windy City couldn't get any colder... We want to give back to the community, and that's why a lot of us are involved in the Big Buddy program. A chance to give children something they would otherwise never see, to meet their heroes. When I pass it to you, just give it right back. All right, now give it back! Being a big buddy allows us to give back, and, you know, it feels pretty good. Get up, walk off! Your parents signed the permission slip. Get up, man. Uh, we'll see. All right, ladies. There's only one spot left in my fantasy football league and two of you. Why don't we flip a coin? I prefer a more old-fashioned approach. Two of you walked into this room, but only one's walking out. No, 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 no! Hey, I was kidding! No, I was kidding. Tom, you're in the league. Yeah. Bill, you're insane. Start your league at ESPN.com slash fantasy football.